This is it. We are having the best regular season we've ever had. We're loaded up. We've won three cups in a row. Four out of the last five years. We're going for five of six and four in a row to put us in the category with the other major dynasties of old. Maybe even a step ahead because of the other cup we won. But four in a row. That will also tie the channel record. One day I'll get five in a row. But... <laughs> uh. I also have to battle with the uh, the interest in this series as well. So, anyway. We are here. And possibly making a trade. I think we I think we go for it here. Um, I'll have to do the player search again because I don't remember the, the team. I'll take another look at the two guys that I was uh, considering. Oops. Eh, handedness doesn't matter. But depth defenseman. And sort by overalls here. So, Harley and Ferraro were the two main guys. Harley's a bit younger, but we don't really care about that. 84, 87, 88 for his defensive stats. Two-way. Um, Mario Ferraro, slightly older, but 87, 85, 85 for his defensive stats. All defensive pairings most likely. All defensive pairings confirmed for Harley. But his awareness is a bit worse. Got slightly better puck skills, but that doesn't really matter. Yeah, the only risk is that perhaps Ferraro's not going to be good for all the pairings. But I do like that he's a bit older. I like to have, especially at this point, an older depth piece would be, I think, much better than a guy smacking his prime. I mean, Ferraro's still in his prime, but he's approaching that veteran status, and they... Hmm. Nothing to report, but the other guy likely consummate professional. I don't know. Not on the trade block. Oh my god, it says right here. <laughs> Uh, I do like that Harley also fits on the PK. Shit, man. This is tough. This is really, really tough. I really like Ferraro, but I'm also kind of wondering, like, dude, is it, is it my Sharks bias also kind of putting me towards that direction? Because this is confirmed all defensive pairings. Confirmed all penalty kill. And no negative personality traits, at least. 84 discipline compared to 85. They're about the same physically. Ferraro is actually a little bit better physically. Skating's fine. I do really like that Ferraro has higher defensive awareness. His shot blocking, stick checking still comparable at 85s. Eighty-three poise, eighty-one poise. God damn it, they're so close. They're really so fucking close. We'd be trading with Toronto. Oof. I don't know about that, Chief. Yeah, I'd, be a, I'd probably be giving up Kronholm in this deal. So sending, sending someone who could come back to maybe bite us in the ass in the playoffs is a bit risky, but... I mean, we will be getting a better player. We will be making them weaker. And collecting depth for ourselves. Ah! I, 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 I can't decide, man. Draft the date. <laughs> so, I really, I don't know. I really don't know. This is really a tough decision. All right, you know what? Let's check some stuff here. Gotta go into a deep dive. He was in the AHL last season. That's pretty rough. Put him in the AHL a bunch. Plus player, though. Yeah, only taking four pims in 61 games played. He really doesn't take penalties whatsoever. 64 hits. 52 block shots. And Harley... few more penalties. Shots, 57. I need to check that, actually. Um, less hits. Uh, 
Hold on. Actually, less blocks, or maybe slightly more. Honestly, Ferraro's better. At least he produces better. They have similar shots. Ferraro is scored more, taken less penalties. Um, he's, he hits more. Block shots were 52. I think Harley had slightly more. I think he had like 60 something. Yeah, 61. But way less hits. Similar giveaway takeaway. Philly. They shouldn't be that bad, are they? He's a minus six there with nine penalty minutes. Well, let me see. I'm not going to trade from it. I just want to. This is just an easy way to see what the hell the record is. No. Yeah, he's. Yeah. I'm going to go with Ferraro. I think Ferraro's a better bet here. Just slightly. I know it's maybe slightly more risky. Here's the thing we could pick up Ferraro. If he doesn't work, we could immediately grab Harley, too, uh, chemistry wise. But honestly, I think Ferraro will work. Again, this is just a depth piece. It, Yeah, I'm a little, a little nerve wracking, I guess, trading with Toronto here. Because we may face him in the playoffs. But what can you do? Kronholm, they want Kronholm. Will that go through straight up? Probably not. No. So we'd have to chuck something else in there. Not going to give him any more players. I don't want to make him any better. A four? Might not have to be a four. Let's start a bit lower with like a six. I'll go up. I don't care. I'll, I'll send him yeah, some picks. Five. There we go. Okay. So Kron Holman a five for Mario Ferraro. Mario Ferraro, whatever. <laughs> it's hilarious. He, even Sharks announcers don't know what to call him. So, again, what we could do from this point is take a look at him. We can always move for Harley if we really, really want to. I don't think that'll be necessary, though. I'm pretty sure he'll have good chemistry. Even if it's not maxed out completely, he should have good chemistry. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much as good as it gets. Um, because he's pinch balanced... Maybe the other guy was pinch cycle, which would make him better for the top four. But I think it won't matter where he goes. I don't think this will technically scratch him because they won't be sat for a game. So watch. You throw him in here, plus three. Okay, right there. Well, it depends. If, if West, if Soderstrom goes down, it's plus three. And if Darlene goes down, it's only plus one. But for the most part, this is fine chemistry. In more than half of the places that he'll go, slot in, it's plus three. Everywhere else is plus one, which is fine. So I'm happy with that. We're going to keep Jinning in there. Him and, uh, him and Fleury are just fine. So Mario, Fer Mario Ferraro now, new depth piece. Interesting. Now he dropped down to 85s all the way around. Well, whatever. Maybe he's moraled up. He might have been moraled up. That's fine. Again, it's a depth piece. I'm happy with it. Plus, it's Mario Ferraro. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. There's our trade deadline move. And that's it. Again, I'm not going to worry about any other stuff. This is the last year. This is the last season. Um, Actually, one thing I did want to check. Is he any kind of locker room guy? In real life, he is. He's a, he's a fucking future leader. But I, I doubt he's anything in this. You never know, though. You never know. And speaking of which, anything... So, Dahlien back up to a present, so it's a good thing he's a captain. Yeah, nothing nothing else. Whatever. Alright. So, move has been made. On we go. Finish out the year. Watch Kronholm score like a game-winning goal against us. <laughs> uh, keep the trade block. We'll see if any major trades happen. Let us see. Watch Toronto make another big one. That'd be funny. All right, come on now, league, get interesting, get NBA on us. Nope, nothing. Wow. Okay. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, Rupe hints at a six to Montreal for a first sim that goalie. Is that the one we drafted? I think so. And then we trade. Yeah. And then Reardon. And a f ooh, Pittsburgh. Oh no, they traded. So Detroit getting Ratu and. 
Johns, is that Andreas Janssen or is that someone else? I don't know. For first and a third. And another one. Nashville getting Bachman and Boys for Formanton, Lindell, and a fourth. All right. And that's it. Flurry accepted extension. Beat Pittsburgh. Beat Toronto. There we go. Beat Edmonton. We're crushing it. Dude, can we stay below 10 regulation losses all season? That would be incredible. Rochester player, Matthias Samuelson. Who and where were you? Oh, okay. You weren't even out. Oof, tough loss to Colorado. But that's fine. It'll be tough to stay below 10 regulation losses, man. Especially with how the game likes to balance itself out. But we're doing a good job of it right now. Holy fuck. <laughs> what? Hold on, where is this guy? Because he's, he's freaking me out now. No, he's up here. Did he just get minorly injured twice? What is that? Whoa, who are you? Oh, two OFDs, that would be why. All right, Skeever going here. Winning, oh my goodness, 60 wins. Um, yeah, I don't care about scouting. Toronto's still a tough team, man. If they're, pfft, I was gonna say, if, they're, if, if we're gonna get handed a loss, it'll be probably by them. I'm not gonna say anything yet, but this might be the best fucking season I've ever had in NHL 22, 21. If it, if everything goes well here. Ooh, fractured jaw, he's out for a bit. Come on. I don't think I have another defenseman. Oh, I do actually, locks in, and that's right. In you go. Come on, baby. Ow! All right, whatever. We still have a 65 fucking win season. Let's just win out the rest and make me incredibly happy. Dude, we could add 69, you dick. What a dick of a game. 140 points. That's that. That's my best season in NHL 21 right there. I know for a fact I've never hit 140 points. I don't think I've gotten over 65 wins. 68, 10, and 4. And we're taking on the Lightning here in the first round. 68, 10, and 4. If only we didn't lose. We could have had 69 wins. That would have been amazing. Whatever, though. 68, 10, and 4. Perfetti on 110 points. 68, 10, and 4. 140 points. Better than the Leafs by 18 points. That's filthy. 10 more wins than them. Wow. 4, 7, 1, 2, 4, 9. That's a filthy ratio. 35% power play. 81.8 penalty kill. Let's see how we stack up to everyone else. Yeah, wow. No one's even close to us in goals for. Goals against. No one's, I mean, the Blues are kind of close, but we're far and away the best power play. Wow, the Ottawa Senators actually beat us by 1.1%. Whatever, second place power play. They have a t terrible penalty kill. We barely, yeah, we get into the top 10 in our penalty kill at least, so there we go. We have seven shorties, four. Good enough for a tie for fourth. A long tie for fourth. <laughs> well, there we go. We are 7-2-1 in the last 10. Wow, I identical home and away records. We literally only lost 14 times on this entire season. Amazing. That's that's honestly amazing when you think about it. Wow, okay. Um, regular season points. Perfetti had a 45-goal year, 110 points. A career year as he enters his prime. 110 points. Has he even hit 100? He's never hit 100 before. He goes out and does 110. He's never had over 40 goals. He goes and gets 45. This guy, I remember. I think it was this year or sometime. I think it was sometime around here. Someone's like, trade Perfetti. He, he never gets above 84. Well, then. I'd say one for one, Jack Eichel's a better player. But when you add in the picks we got... Yoki Hari didn't pan out, but honestly, Perfetti for Eichel, and with allowing us to get some of the other assets we did, Perfetti making 4.475 million. Fuck me, man. Whew. Cole Perfetti, Elias Kane, 102 points, 51 goals. Jack Quinn, 99 points, 46 goals. Cousins, point per game. 84 points, 20 goal score. Lehu, 75, almost 40 goals. I think if he uh, 
Didn't miss any time with injury. He would have hit 40. Rankin had 58 points. Lambert with 53, 61 games played. Missed some time. Wrote the line in 48, 46 for Wilson. Torres with 37. Paquette, Cascaranta, Asplund. But every single one of our main skaters had 25 points or more. Asplund as a depth option was point per game. And Twernski had five points in eight games played as a bottom six grinder depth. Defensively, holy shit, Darlene exploded. <laughs> what is this guy's career plus minus? Well, it, it's 293. It's probably because he started out so shit because of goddamn real Buffalo. Well, it's actually not horrible. Yeah, no, not too bad. <laughs> Look at that, though. Plus 70. 81. Yeah, he's probably going to win the Norris again. I just got him to another extension. 81 points in 82 games played, plus 70. Ugh. West had 58 points. Soderstrom had 57. Plus 65, plus 57. Sweeney was 39, plus 59. Flurry and Jinning, over plus 30 each. Respectable point totals from a third pairing. I mean, what the hell? Goaltenders. Luke in a 9-10 save percentage, 2-4-3 goals against. 51 wins, so he didn't quite uh, do it. Looks like Tarasov actually got a, quite a few games played at the end there. We're resting Luke in it for the playoffs. Records are one thing, cups are another. Seven shutouts. Tarasov got over 900, had two shutouts. Got more than enough points that I wanted out of him. What is that? 36 points in 27 games played, and six of those were non-decisions. <laughs> two shutouts. Wow. We have a no. No rookies this season. Jeez, man. What a year. Perfetti, dude. Are you... You might be gunning for the top. He did it! Fuck! He, he actually did it! Cole Perfetti. 110 points. He's gonna get the Art Ross, maybe the heart. Wow. Goals. Dingle. 64. This guy. <laughs> Alright. Assist leader. 69 for Marner. Nice. Plus minuses, I guarantee you. Perfetti, Cousins, Quinn, Kane, LaHue. Oh, poor Lambert. All the, It's the injuries, man. It's the injury. <laughs> That's all right, though. Great job. Let's check out who's the most clutch. Honestly, that might be, oh, my good. Copeland. Wow, 15 out of 59 goals. That's pretty impressive. That's just impressive, number one, because of the sheer amount of game winners he got. 15 game winners. Even if LaHue is technically, on average more clutch that's sick all right power play goal leader line a with 20 power play point totals uh dingle with 38 none of our guys are up there but we get you know we got two units that can score shorties aho bondra it's marion but still blast from the past name all right none of our guys are up there really for goals how about shorty points tom wilson's up there let's go all right, let's check out this. Oops. Ah! Stop it! There we go. Uh, Dingle, actually, a Selkie candidate with Barkov. All right, Barzal up there. Interesting. Wow, another Rochette. Eichel got to be close in there. Speaking of which, what would you do this season, Eichel? Yeah, 95 points. I don't see he sure. Oh, Riley's still playing. <laughs> Guess he is only 38. Matthews, okay. It's going to be an interesting Selkie race. Kot Kot Kinemi's even up there. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting Selkie race. No one really ran away with it. Defensively, fuck me, Hughes. Holy shit. 96 points for Quinn Hughes, plus 11. Rogers with 84, plus 12. But Darlene is has 81 points and a plus 70. They're going to give it to Darlene. The game loves us. And with that kind of plus minus differential, Jesus, man. It's pretty sick. He even gets less minutes than Hughes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're going to give it to Darlene there. But Quinn Hughes, point, points wise, is, is just filthy. This entire franchise mode he's been up there. All right, goaltenders. Let's see. Wow, Vasilevsky. What a reason. Oh, he went back to Tampa. 
<laughs> he went, oh, man, look at that record, too. Yeah, they weren't a great team, and he absolutely carried. You know what? I can't even say Lukanen's even up there. Vasilevsky almost on his own. I would say even on his own. Pure Vasilevsky. Wow. I mean, Lukanen did good. He's probably going to win the Vesna, but judging by Vasilevsky, his situation, look at the record, 30, 21, and 4. Only two shutouts, but he had a .918 and a two five five on a team that doesn't look like they did that good. That's pretty damn impressive. But this is this is more impressive. 52. He had two 50 win seasons. UPL, man. Wow. Age 30. Man, time flies. Most shutouts. Pretty impressive. All right. Let's check out the rookies. None of our guys got, her, got their names in it. Uh, Kelly Lucic, 58 points. That was the uh, franchise sniper, right? Yeah. 58 points minus 13. How about any rookie goalies? Ooh, hello. Not enough games played. I don't think anyone really has enough games played. Ooh, Yokel is looking good. And not going to get much better. Uh, our scene's looking pretty good. So a couple nice, hot, young goalies coming up. Yeah. And... Very small sample size for Caden Perret. Oh, wow. Fuck off, game. 66 overall. He goes 4-0 with a shutout. Oh. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the playoff tree in the West. The Blues. Ooh, the Blues in Nashville. Nice. Uh, Colorado and the Coyotes. Ah, the old rivalry getting rekindled. The Sharks and the Kings. And then, ooh, Vancouver and Calgary. Those are some nice matchups there. At least three rivalries. I like it. In the, in the east, Philly and Columbus, the Devils and Ottawa, Toronto and Florida, and then us against the Lightning. So once again, we're facing either the Lightning or Toronto, possibly both, but we're facing the Lightning first with Vasilevsky, who may have chip on his shoulder, may have something to prove here. Had a great regular season. He's that veteran goalie, and now he's closer to mid-80s. He, he could and so he, he, I, I, he could absolutely just take over a series, and I'm kind of worried about that. That would be completely anticlimactic, but I would not put it past this game. So we're going to have to work our asses off. What do they got? Kiviranta, Point, Roslovic, Fortier, Strom, Gauthier, Brown, Heedle, Trocek, Saad, Hollander, and Stenland. Eh. No more Kucherov, no more Stamkos. It's Brayden Point's team, and he's 33 now. Sergachev, <laughs> Sullivan... Ferreveri, uh, Shipley, Carlo, it's not great. But yeah, Vasilevsky's in the cheese territory now. Veteran, 83 overall. Dadunov. All right. Interesting. We should we should blow these fuckers out of the water. But again, if there's ever a team that cheeses, this is going to be the one. But you compare them to us on paper, there's really no contest. Our second line's better than their first. Our third line's even maybe on par with some of their top six lines. We have great depth all the way around. We're incredibly balanced. We're good defensively. We're good offensively. We have a good goalie. This is our series to lose. This is our series to lose, and let's not do it. This has been, you know, a rival of ours, but we've been we've been the better team. So let's keep going. Let's keep proving that we're the better team. Home ice, game one. Let's go, Buffalo. Four to three OT win. Well, we got the dub. Let's shut them down a bit more in this next game. Game two. There we go, 4-2 to victory. I like it on the road now into Tampa. We go for game three. 3-2 three to victory. I like it. We're not blowing them out of the water, but we're winning the games. That's what's important. One more win and we advance. That's all we need. One more win. McLeod goes back in. Looks like he jumped up a bit more too. So on the road. Let's do it on the road. I don't care about home ice, whatever. Just blow them out. Bye. Ah, wow, they blew us out 6-1. to one. Okay, back on home ice for game five. There we go, 6-1 to one ourselves. And we advance on to round two. Mm, I don't know who it's going to be. The Leafs and the Panthers are tied right now. It's going to be the Leafs. So it had to be. We got to face our two biggest rivals on our way to try to get the four, Pete. The four cups in a row, and it's Toronto waiting for us. who won two straight there against the Panthers to advance. All right. All right. Darlene leading the way in points with seven and five games played. Not too bad. Our defense isn't going to be that good. It's actually not bad. 2.8. Looked worse with that six goal game. So 3.6, 2.8.
could be a better ratio, but again, playoffs. It's a winning ratio, and that's what we care about. Power play could be better, but it's not bad. Penalty kill, real good. You know, we took almost two times as many penalties. What else is new? But we killed so many of them off. So good shit. Perfect on home ice so far. And our opponents, the Leafs, what are they looking like? Uh, oof. Scoring more than us, but allowing more goals as well. Wow, their power play was deadly. Their penalty kill was just okay. Gotta watch out for that power play, though. Our penalty kill has been good so far, so... You never know. We'll see what happens. Alright, seven points for Ali Perfetti continuing. Seven points for him as well. Roots Alinen with five. Nice. Quinn with five. Lambert with four. Rankin with three. Cousins only two. Lahu only two. Are we missing someone? Yeah, I was going to say. Elias Kane only with one point so far. So, a few guys missing from here and there, but it's all right. Darlene got off to a good start. Him and Sweeney, weirdly, not good plus minus. Um, Lukanen needs to improve. But you know what? If you start off mediocre and improve as we go, I won't be mad. But hopefully you improve. But we got the Leafs up next, who are a strong offensive team. So who knows what's going to happen. Let's see. Nylanders, Benajad, Marner. Oof. Robertson, Lindholm, Caulfield. Okay. Uh, Foot, Keranen, Gallagher, <laughs> McEwen, Sunkfist, and Nicholas Roy. That's a pretty good team. That's a pretty damn solid team. Riley, Lilligren, Sandine. Yeah, that's a good defensive. Oh, yes. Kronholm. Here we go. Yeah, this is a good defensive core as well. Decent depth. Jari and Ingram. Neither have done pretty good. They're going with Jari. There's our in right there. It's not like he's cheesing, but he could cheese against us. Let's not get to the tech sim. <laughs> but uh, it's a closer matchup, but we definitely still have the advantage. We got the home ice advantage as well, but we got to play like it. We got to shut them down, and we got to score goals. Pretty simple. Back check, four check, pay check. Game one, home ice. Let's go, Buffalo. Five to three victory. That's how you do it. All right, we need to shut them down, though. Game two, come on. Keep them off the scoreboard. There we go. Six to one victory. All right, on to the road now. Into Toronto we go. Four to two. Win. One win away from advancing, baby. Our rivals, they got nothing for us. Three to one victory. We sweep the Leafs en route to the Eastern Conference Finals. Who's it going to be? I saw the Devils in there. Are we going to face them again? Yep, all the bands. <laughs> all of our fucking rivals. It had to be this way. The Devils now standing in our way. Oh, and it's the Abs against the Kings. No fucking way. Are we really going to like have all these moments for possible revenge as well? We got to get through the Devils first. We got to get through the Devils first. Perfetti, man. What a season. Ah, Just what a fucking year all the way around for Perfetti. Team stats. Four and two, three, three. Amazing. Power play jumped way up there. Wow, we only got, what, six opportunities in four games? Amazing. 36. All right, it dropped down a bit. It figured Toronto would score on the power play, but that's all right. We're still doing pretty good. Perfect on home ice still. Only one loss total. Let's see what New Jersey's got for us. I like how it does it correctly here. Anyway, I'm talking about alphabetical. Um, They're actually really good defensively, too. Pretty similar to us. Decent power play. Better. Yes. All right, this is going to be a good matchup. This is going to be a good matchup. Pretty similar to us. We're, maybe, we're slightly better offensively, but they've been very, very good defensively. All right. Uh, Perfetti, 13 points. Quinn with 10. Lambert is 7. Cousin, 7. Kane, wow. Six points in that series. Rankin was 7. I love Rankin. Lahu was 6. Not too bad. Wrote Salinen. I fucking love Rankin, dude. Every single playoffs, he just... He gets point per game or close to it. Roots and Linen's even doing good, too. A few goals as well. Torres, not too bad. Four points. Cascaranta, Wilson. Paquette needs a bit more, but that, you know, whatever. Darlene above point per game. West, Sweeney, Soderstrom. Everyone's good plus minus. Flurry's even got a few points. Nice. There you go, Lukanen. That's what I'm talking about. Keep trending in this direction, son. Keep going. Whew. All right. What do you got for us, Devils, huh? What do you got? Let's check them out. Zegris, huge McLennan. Nice. Uh, Romano, Raskholtz are pretty weak. Why don't they have this combining guy up there? He's a playmaker, too. What the, what the hell are they doing? It's got to be a chemistry thing, but that's odd. 
Okay. Cop Kempine and Don Scoy. This could all they could also make move him up there. This could be incorrect. Suter, Horkoff, Gord. Alright, not too bad. It's that's pretty good. Oh that's yeah, and then they have a pretty damn solid defensive core as well. Very well balanced. With Brant Clark in there as well. Lincoln in who's been doing good enough. So there's your cheese right there. Low to mid 80s veteran. And he's simming well. <laughs> they have sugar. Alright. Gotta work it out for us again. Conference finals. See what happens. But this is again tough matchup. We're meeting the devils here in the conference finals once again. Game one, home ice. Come on, Buffalo. We've been killing it so far, especially on our ice. We get the job done. Four to one victory. Amazing. Game two. Keep going. Oh, we get shut out. Finally losing on home ice, and it's an even series. On the road now into Prudential Center. Game three. Cornette. Okay, that's AHL. Luckily, it's not our NHL. We don't want an NHL injury here. Game three, <sighs> lose an OT and we're down two games to one. Two games in a row where we struggled to score. What's going on here? Game three, Buffalo. All <laughs> right, there we go. Even it up with a blowout win, nine to one. Home ice for game five. This is pivotal to take a big lead on the series. Come on now. There we go. Five to two victory. We can end it in six. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Don't waste any time. Fuck. Game seven. Oh, game seven to decide the conference finals. We got this. We got this, Buffalo. Come on. We got this. Let's go. Period one. Let's start off on, the, on a good foot here. All right. They're getting the shots. We don't have a single one. Finally break through, but they're getting the majority of the chances so far in the first. But Buffalo strike first. Lahu from a crazy angle. Scores on Kevin Lankinen. one nothing for Buffalo. Power play. Power play. Can't capitalize. Okay, towards the end of the first here. Uh, power play for them. They don't capitalize. Shots 9-11. to 1-0 lead for Buffalo going into the second. Let's go. Carry over time. They score. Jack Hughes ties the game up on the power play early on into the second period. So tie game now. Come on, Buffalo. Here we go. Power play. Oh, Elias Kane gets a power play goal of his own. Taking back the lead. And Sweeney. Sweeney. Oh, fuck off, Kemp Leinen. Sweeney crept in. Lahoo gets another one back. What the hell's going on? What a crazy second period. Two goal lead regained for Buffalo. I was trying to figure out where the hell Sweeney shot from. There it is. Back on the from the point there. End of the second, two goal lead going into third. Lucan and you got this. Defense help him out. Offense, insurance would be nice. Close it out. Come on, Buffalo. No, 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 no. Fuck. Oh, what a kill. What a huge penalty kill right there. Massive penalty kill. 10 minute mark. There we go. We're in good shape. Come on, Buffalo. Close it out. Five minute mark. Lukanen doing his job back there. Everyone else, the net's gonna be empty. No empty net are needed. Four to two victory for Buffalo. Advancing to the Stanley Cup Finals. The fourth year in a row. Lahu, what a game he had. Kane had a good game. Rankin, couple assists back there. Four hits. He gets himself on the three star board. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Cup finals. Ooh, it's going to be the Avalanche. It's not going to be L.A. All right. There they are. The Avalanche, not L.A., so they don't have a chance to get a revenge. 12 and 6, so they had a tougher road. All right. But they're a good team. And they have Bedard, don't they? Fuck me. <laughs> That's the problem with drafting all that talent when you lose them and trade them away. That's where they end up. So three seven five two three one. The Colorado's three six one two nine four. So they're definitely not as good defensively. They have a good power play. Wow, they got them a ton of chances. They're gonna get plenty more. Don't you worry. They have a terrible penalty kill though. We're, we're we we got this. We should beat this team. We should absolutely beat this team. We're comparable offensively. We're slightly better. We're way better defensively. We have a better power play. We have a better penalty kill. On paper, we are the better team here. We are absolutely a better team. We'll see what happens with their lineup. Perfetti with 22 points, still killing it. Quinn looking good with 17. Lahu 13. Kane, 13. Cousins, 13. Lambert, 11. Rankin, 11. Could use a few more goals, actually. This, it's getting a bit polarizing here. We need to score a few more goals. 
Oof, Paquette holding one point still. What the fuck? <laughs> there, he's a plus two. <laughs> Defensively, Darlene West. Wow, West is really stepping up. So we're getting a lot of uh, production from the back end, which is great. Everyone's a pretty sick plus, and Lukanen still killing it. If he gets us a 9-1-5 in this, in this series, we win. 100%. 100%. So keep it up, Lukanen. Just be consistent to what you've been doing in the last two rounds. All right, Colorado. Tough offensive team, obviously. Landeskog. Wow, he's still there. And he's 36. Still pretty damn good. Landeskog, McKinnon, Rantanen. They still got that team together. Gurionov, Gambrell, Bedard. Not super strong. We can exploit that second line. Um, Manchapani, Frederick, Appleton, Linda, Jenner, Formington. But they got really good depth. They're really well balanced. They have a great first line. And then, you know, very, very co uh, competent bottom nine, essentially. Uh, Gerard McCarr. That's got to be terrible chemistry. Uh, Thompson, Lindell, Holtz, Bowers. Interesting. And then, ugh, another cheese goalie. Veva Linen. Uh, okay, there you go. Okay, I was going to say. Uh, they're missing. I was wondering where Byram was. I don't remember seeing him traded. Uh, Bowen Byram's out with injuries, so that's probably why Gerard's up. So we got to take advantage of that as early as possible. Get ourselves off to a good start. We've been fortunate with injuries. They have not. They're missing Bowers. So it's a pretty big loss for them. Again, think about our team compared to theirs. They're, though, we are by far the better team on paper. By far the better team on paper. Maybe they got a, they got a better fourth line than us, but all in all, we're much better. Way better defensive core. Way better offensive core. Way better goaltender. Even our backups on par with theirs with their uh, starter but again it doesn't matter unless we get put the effort needed to win these games this is a good team they're here for a reason this is the cup finals the best of the best we won three straight you know ea is already against us we got to battle through it so let's fucking go buffalo game one home ice make no mistakes no mistakes baby let's go Yes! 6-2 win. Great start. Great start. Game 2. Come on. Come on, Buffalo. 5-2 win. Two tremendous games. We're scoring and we're defending well. Game 3 on the road. Series doesn't begin until... Oh my goodness, what a response there. Man, they can even this up on their rice. Let's have a good response game here. There we go. 6-2. A chance to win the cup. Game 5 on home ice. Whew. Let's go, Buffalo. Let's go. Cups in the building. Power play to start things off. Elias Kane opens up the scoring. one nothing. Power play for Colorado in response. It's a long one. Plus a five on three. Oh, goodness. What a kill. What a massive kill. But Shane... Oh, Bowers is back and he scores. Oh, and McKinnon makes it 2-1. The response is from Colorado to take the lead here. Uh, and they get a power play towards the end. All right, down going into the second period, two to one. Come on, Buffalo. Come on, Buffalo. We need it. We need it. We need a response here on the scoreboard. We need a response from the offense. Please kill that. Good kill. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Oh, geez, offense. Where are you at? You tell me, Vavalinen's doing this to us. Ugh, going into the third period, down by one offense. Come on. Come on, Buffalo. Come on, Bubba. Someone. Power play. Let's go. Power play. Someone's got to step up. Jesus. They are defending so well. Vavil. Oh, fuck you, Bedard. Makes it a two-goal lead. And that'll probably do it. We just simply can't score. We simply cannot score. Okay. All right. So, whoa, wait a sec. Cousins makes it 3-2. Can we get another late goal to tie it? No. God damn it. Fuck you, Bedard. Ah, so we lose 3-2 to two there in game 5. Fuck the 3 stars. Ah! Damn it. So they force a game 6 here. Alright. Game 6 has been forced. Come on, Buffalo. Let's go. Don't drop another one here. Come on, get off to a good start. We got, we got to blow these guys out of the water. Let's go. We're a better team. Power play goal for Perfetti. There we go. 1-0. 
We got to no, we got to continue to pour it on. Tom Wilson, baby, and another power play right after that. Okay, not able to capitalize. That could have been a huge, huge momentum swing, but we got a two-goal lead here. To get out of the period with it. Get out of the period with it. There we go. That's big. Getting out of the period with that two-goal lead. 15 shots to eight. We're the better team so far. Second period. We got to keep it up. Another goal. Come on. Kill that. Big kill. Another goal, though, guys. Come on. Come on now. There we go. Power play opportunity. Can't capitalize. Okay. 10-minute mark. In the second. Come on, Buffalo. I'm nervous about the two-goal lead. They can score quickly. We saw it last game. Ooh, we get out of the period, though. Two to nothing. Going into the third. 20 minutes to history. 20 minutes to history, Buffalo. 20 minutes to history. Let's do it. Third period. Come on, guys. 15 minute mark. There we go. We need some insurance, but maybe we don't. <laughs> Cold fucking perfetti! 10 minute mark! 3 goal lead! They're not coming back, bitches! Start the countdown right now! 5 minute mark! The Buffalo Sabres make history! 4 Stanley Cups in a row! Stanley Cup champs! The best team in existence! Uko Pekalukanen pulls the Vasilevsky a shutout in an elimination game. The cup final game. The game! for us to win four Stanley Cups straight and we do it five cups in the last six years this is the best dynasty the best dynasty in the modern era possibly even in the entire existence in the NHL now with a full 31 team league unbelievable absolutely unbelievable unreal this team was is is unreal the defense, the offense, every every part of it. The bottom six, the top six. It's the goaltender. It, we are unconscious. The best season, regular season, known man, 140 points. And, of course, we win the cup. I mean, I figured after a season like that, we might just lose out. It got close. It got close against the Devils. Fuck, took us to game seven. But here we are. A shutout for Uko Pekka Lukin. And Cole Perfetti going to be winning that call. And Smythe so well deserved. He played phenomenally. 30 points in these playoffs. He got some big goals here in this game specifically. Two goals, I think. Amazing. Just fucking amazing. Every year, there's someone else stepping up for us. It's been Jack Quinn at times. It's been LaHoo at times. It's been Elias Kane. Now it's Perfetti. It's unreal. It's just simply unreal what we've done with this team. We perfected the formula for NHL 21 just in time. We'll have a new game, new challenges coming out. But we're not done with NHL 21. Not quite yet. We got another series. Fuck all that. Let's enjoy this. The captain, Rasmus Dahlin. The man who keeps taking pay cuts to keep this team competitive. And is hoisting the cup over his head for the fifth time in a row. The fourth time as the captain of this team. And there he is. There it is. I mean, what else can you say? This is just... What a ride it's been. Sweeney, absolutely... Oh, that's fucking beautiful. He hands it off to his defensive partner. Fuck, dude, I literally just got chills right now. I'm getting chills over a goddamn video game. Because, you know what? That's just how good franchise mode is. That's just how good Rankin getting the, getting, getting the hoisted again. One of the best playoff performers. Looks like he's about 50 years old. And he plays like a goddamn beast out there. And every playoffs, he steps up his game, gets a ton of points. He's out there hitting. He's probably he's out there dropping the gloves when he needs to, and he's helping to lead that uh, that third line with the alternate captain Rotzelainen, and helping out the new young guy coming up in uh, Torres. But the man himself. Uh, arguably the best goaltender in Sabres history. I hesitate to say that because of the Dominator, but. UPL, man. What can Lukanen do for you? Fuck me, man. Unbelievable. Four cups in a row. Five cups total. What a franchise mode. Thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching.